Today we are going to be tying the hybrid cart fly on a fire hole 315 in a size 10. And I'm just going to start by making a few lead wraps up here and pull that off and then wrap the excess around and secure it. Next I'm going to take my Danville's uh, 140 denier in black and start to make a thread base. Next I'm going to grab my B chain eyes. These are black and they're in a size large. And we will wrap these right around here, leaving a little bit of room in front for a whip finish. Next, I'm going to gently wrap back over my lead here, trying to capture it. And I'll create a small thread bank right behind it, so when I secure it, it doesn't splay out on me. Beautiful. Now I'm going to wrap down towards the curve of the hook here to tie our chenille in and this is in a red or bright red color. I'm going to secure this right here to the end. Tie it right on top. Put a few securing wraps in. Just like that. So next we are going to make our dubbing loop here. So I know a lot of guys, actually, before we do that, I am going to come back here and I just want to cover this up a little bit before we put any dubbing on top of it. Just like that, perfect. Now we're going to make our dubbing loop. And I know a lot of, that, a lot of guys tie this, they uh, do the body with peacock which I have done before, it's a great option. Um, but I've also found that dubbing tends to hold up just a little bit longer than the peacock will. Nothing against the peacock, but I'm just gonna do this one with the black dubbing. So I'm gonna separate the thread again, throw my dubbing twister in there. And we will start making our dubbing noodle. So for this fly, the dubbing is going to be Cohen's Carp Dub in the Northern Lights Black. And like I've said on my previous videos, be careful when making dubbing loops with synthetic dubbing because it adds um, buoyancy to the fly uh, more than you might think. So it's better to go with less than more in this situation. That should do it. And then I'll just give it a twist. Let it catch up and twist on down. Spin it up and then I'll take my dubbing brush and really make sure everybody's sticking out. We're gonna make this nice and buggy. Perfect. Now I am just going to wrap it around and as I go forward I am going to pull those fibers back as to try to trap as few as possible. And I'm going to wrap it right up to the back of the eyes right there. Grab my thread. Just one more wrap. <coughs> Capture the thread, put a few wraps down, and then we will nip a dummy loop off. I'm going to readjust my hook here. And then I'll come back through with the dubbing brush and just lift all these fibers up and make it nice and buggy. So next we are going to tie our hackle in. Just going to put it right on top here. And this is a India hen hackle. And then I am going to, and it's an olive, forgot to mention. And I'll separate those fibers a bit. Grab it with the hackle plier. And just work my way around it. Trying to pull the fibers back as I wrap forward 
is to trap as few as possible. <coughs> And we'll just nip that off right there. Come down to the bottom and try and pull as many of those fibers back as I can before I wrap forward. Brush them out a bit. And now a little extra step that you don't have to take. I'm just going to do a really thin dubbing noodle to cover the eyes and the work that we did right behind the, the eyes right here. And then I'm going to come right in front of the eyes here for the whip finish. And there we have the carp hybrid. Very effective little carp fly.